In this tutorial, I'd like to show you Nodes 2 from Yanobox. Nodes is a unique effect that combines text, images, and graphics into beautiful 3D animations to make your project stand out from the rest. I'm in Motion, but Nodes also works in Final Cut Pro 10, Premiere Pro, and After Effects as well. You can find it in the Generators library under Yanobox. Nodes comes fully loaded with over 100 presets in five different categories. Let's take a look at a few from each. As you can see, Nodes allows you to visually animate objects and relationships through nodes and lines. Use this effect for title screens, a way to convey information, text effects, lower thirds, and more. I'll drag nodes to my timeline. First, in the inspector, you'll notice a presets drop-down menu. I like the preset map highlight, so I'll use it to go over some of the many parameters included in the effect. In the inspector, you can see all the parameter categories. The individual drop-down menus allow you to show only the parameter that you're working on. The master completion slider will set the progression of all lines, nodes, and text in synchrony. Check or uncheck the nodes, lines, and text checkboxes to enable or disable each part of the effect. First, let's take a look at the text. This preset has a built-in set of locations. The Edit button provides you with an interface to edit your text or to import a text file. By default, the Accelerated Fonts option is enabled. This option allows you to animate thousands of text layers in real time versus only 100 when using system fonts. Due to the complexity of nodes, you'll find keeping Accelerated Fonts enabled is more beneficial. You can change the font, size, color, and position of the text easily. I can choose which piece of text is featured in this preset by using the Text Offset Index slider. As I go through all of these parameters, always remember each of these is animatable, which could lead to some cool effects. Next, we'll go to the Node Settings. Here we have control of the look of the nodes themselves. Use the Nodes Type drop-down to see the available options. I'll choose Image List to load a few images as nodes. You can further adjust the size, color mode, opacity, and blending to taste. The connection settings manage how the nodes are linked together. With several methods to choose from, each has its own set of ways that can be customized further. Under the line settings, you can adjust the color, opacity, and thickness easily. You also have the choice of using a curved line or a curved tube, but for this example, I'll stick with a regular line. In the form settings, the first drop-down provides several forms to define the 3D distribution of the nodes. The interface will adapt for each item to display its parameters. The oscillator settings gives you the option to choose an oscillation mode for the nodes. The oscillator can affect a single axis or can also drive all the axes collectively automatically with no keyframing required. 
The animation parameter provides options to automatically animate the nodes around a particular axis with the ability to adjust the animation speed. Under the camera settings, I can use the slider to adjust the field of view. I can position the camera wherever I'd like and adjust the rotation of each axis individually. Finally, under the Rendering tab, the Depth Effect drop-down defines which properties are affected by the depth. I'll choose Luminosity and Opacity, which modifies the opacity and luminance according to the Z position. As you probably can see, I've barely scratched the surface of this powerful yet intuitive effect. Nodes from Yanobox lets you play with over 100 presets to get started, or you can create your own graphic vocabulary by customizing all available parameters as you wish. FX Factory offers a huge selection of great effects, and if you don't have them yet, I suggest you go try them out at fxfactory.com.